Hello, we are at, at Expo Pack at the second day of the show with Charles Juska, the president and CEO of PMMI. Uh, thank you very much for giving this interview to Ellen Packe. You're welcome. First of all, I would like to ask you what does it mean that Expo Pack 2012 is the biggest in its, its history? Well, I think it means a couple of things. Uh, number one is that um, the strength of the Latin American market place, uh, it's growing and becoming more important. And so with that, the trade show has been growing along with the market. Um, and, and I think the second thing is that the, uh, we're attracting the quality exhibitors from around the world. Uh, so it's, it's uh, success breeds success. <laughs> what is the strategic importance of Latin America and the Mexican market for PMMI? Well, uh, number one thing, it's, it's, we're neighbors. Uh, and when U.S. companies begin to export, they look to Mexico because it's close, and, and, and the NAFTA and a lot of things. So it's a very important market, and I think becoming more important to our members um, um, who want to export. Um, you know, I don't know if you know, we now have allowed uh, uh, Mexican manufacturers to be PMMI members, so that just brings closer ties to our two countries in the packaging field. And what was the reason that you made this move of... Uh... Well, we're, you know, we own the trade show in here, and, and Mexico is part of North America, and so it just made sense to, uh, to do it. So. What are, in your view, the most interesting and biggest opportunities for the U.S. packaging machinery manufacturers in Mexico and Latin America? Well, I, th I think... Uh, The, 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 the one of the things is, is, is for the uh, Mexican and Latin American manufacturers of food to comply with the U.S. new U.S. food modernization laws. The U.S. companies can help them do that. And so I think there's an opportunity for our, our, our U.S. companies to help the um, Mexican and Latin American uh, manufacturers who want to export food to the United States to learn how to comply with the new regulations. So, um, so I, I think that's a big opportunity. What are, in your opinion, the biggest challenges at U.S. Uh, packaging machinery manufacturers face when they reach the Latin American market? Well, I think it's uh, lack of knowledge. When they, they, they come to the Latin American market, they, 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 they really haven't done their research or their homework. They're also, the U.S. sometimes mentality is go and leave, go and leave, and not um, establish relationships. In Latin America, relationships are very important. Um, but we're trying to teach our members that you need to have a long-term perspective. So I think their biggest challenge is um, the language, number one, and also the, 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 the understanding the culture and, and, and the business practices in Latin America. What are, in your perspectives, the end markets with better opportunities for growth? right now that are leveraging this well, growth? Well, I think uh, pharmaceuticals we see as one of the growth areas and also uh, in the food area, healthy choice food, uh, wellness food. I think in Mexico, PepsiCo in their snack division announced a new line of healthier snacks. So I think there's an opportunity for growth in those areas. More and more the line between packaging and processing is blurred. Uh, do you think uh, the North American OEMs are ready to, to face this challenge and offer total system solutions? Well, some of the larger ones that, that have integrated solutions, the smaller companies know and what they're going to have to do is partner with the bigger companies. because. They don't have the resources to do a total solution like the larger uh, multinational packaging companies. So what they what they need to do is partner with each other or with the larger entities. And this integration between packaging and processing, how are you reflecting it at Expo Pack and Pack Expo events? Well, I think uh, starting two years ago, we never let processing equipment exhibit. I think two, two, three years ago, we finally allowed it, and it's expanded, booming. booming. 
we have a dedicated processing pavilion that sells out every year. Um, and we now allow processing equipment manufacturers to be members of PMI. So we've, rec we've, we've also done some research and asked the customers how much time they spend on packaging and how much time they spend on processing in their jobs. Uh, about 50% of the time was spent in packaging and about 40% on processing and 10% in other areas. So we've learned from the larger companies it is becoming a uh, merged function and they no longer have a separate entity. And of course that represents a big opportunity for PMMI. Right, well, yeah, absolutely, but it, but it also, see what the, the big companies are uh, they want to integrate packaging processing for food safety reasons. They can't have. They, they want to have a uh, because it recalls. You know, they, they, you know, when they recall the product for contamination, it kills their brand. It's just terrible. Yeah. Yeah. So by, inter by by having a, a seamless system, they're more likely to not have those incidents. So that's you know, what we learned. Thank you. And yesterday, the, the director of the show, uh, Jose Martinez, announced the launching of Expo Pack Guadalajara in 2000 and, uh, next year, 2013. 2013. Uh, why, why was that? What, well, what was we, the reason? We, well, number one, we, our Mexican office personnel had been talking to the local exhibitors, the Mexican companies, and they indicated that the area in Guadalajara, which is only about 350 miles from here, I think, a lot of those companies didn't come to Expo Pack. We, a small percentage of our attendance here comes from that area. And there's some important companies there, uh, you know, the food industry, beverage. Uh, so it, it kind of came from the exhibitors in Mexico of, of interest, so we did a research and we surveyed the exhibitors and we've got strong support saying yes we'd like to do this and just yesterday we announced it and we started uh, booking space and I, I would guess half the show is already sold just in one day. Regard, regarding the markets in Latin America, which countries do you see are, are showing the greatest growth and opportunities? Which countries? I think Brazil, obviously it's been booming, but also the, doing business in Brazil is very difficult. Uh, for international companies, the the, um, the tariffs they have their duties and tariffs. You can't. They, 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 sometimes they have, them, sometimes they don't. Um, and inflation is just. If you hire people in uh, Brazil, it's very expensive to open up operation there. But it is a tremendous market, large. Uh, but there are other, you know, niches and, and, and you know, Colombia is a great market. Uh, um, so. Uh, I, you know, I just think as, as the middle class grows in some of these Latin American com countries, the packaging will grow with it. Well, thank you very much, Charles, for this very valuable interview for Ellen Packet. Well, we appreciate you. it. Thank you very much. Thank you.